welcome to Do It Like a Dancer. So today I'm just doing a quick episode on what I think is the most important thing in dance training. Um, now, I do like to often say that like there are two different ways of learning dance. The one way is just if you're looking to have a good time, get some fitness, enjoy yourself, whatever it is, um, and that's maybe something different. What I'm talking about here is like dance training in a sense that you plan to use it somehow professionally or to, you know, maybe perform even if it's, you know, with an amateur troupe or, or whatever it is. Um, but it's dance training, which is a little more directed towards uh, a, a, an outside performance, right? As opposed to internally just having a good time. So the most important thing that you need for dance training, if you're going to take it forward for work, is discipline. Now, I know this sounds really cliche, like obviously, um, but it's not that obvious when you're working on a daily basis, the kind of daily grind, you know, like discipline, obviously there's a certain amount of uh, physical discipline and that's really important in that you do have to be willing to spend the time and the effort in training your body in in the proper way you know i think like a lot of times these days and young dancers are really concerned with you know i just want to i want i just want to get on stage or i just want to you know be there already and um and don't necessarily take the time to do that daily technical work that that you do like the thing is is when you talk about technique which which i've done in several videos like you know uh, you kind of have to think of it both ways like on one side I think that technique is not the most important thing for dance performance however you need the technique because you need to make sure that it's there for you when you need it you know because technique is is what allows you to fall properly it's what allows you to have interesting lines which helps you you know communicate your message better so Technique is something that you need on the at the end of the day, you know, like you can put your leg up Whatever, you know, but if it's it's like bent and weird It's it's not gonna get the same response as if you know when you have that strong technique so the physical discipline of going to the studio doing your exercises is Just there's there is no replacement for it um, and and you can't skip a lot like you know, when people ask me, how long does it take to learn to dance? Well, the, quest, the, the, the real answer is that you never actually learn to dance, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, you know, that you're always learning. There's no, never a point where you stop learning. Um, and the second is, is, it depends on how much you train. And the truth is, is if you're just going to a class once a week, you know, that's great for just having a good time, but you aren't going to achieve that level of technique because once a week is just not enough time for your body to develop the habits and the strength and the flexibility that you need to to take this forward so you know if you're going to uh you know pursue dance more professionally you need to be training at least two like three times a week i would say as a minimum requirement and you know, making the time for that, getting into the studio, is it's hard. It's hard to do, especially if you're not, you know, in a place where you can go to classes or, you know, not even if there are classes, you know, you can't afford them. Dance classes are expensive. So, you know, there are things you can do in your own space. And this channel has a lot of small space, you know, uh, dedicated exercises. Um, but generally speaking, you know, somehow you have to make it work. The second thing in the discipline is not just the physical discipline, but mentally as well. And I think this is more important because the, the mental discipline of, of getting to the studio to make time for it, to organize your schedule around it. Then when you're in the studio, you know, the thing is, is that our bodies are not scientific machines, right? So you can't, you know, let's say yesterday you were in the studio, you could do triple pirouettes and you know, your leg was here, you felt so strong and great, and then the next day you're just like, what happened, you know? 
The thing is, is every day is different. Your body changes. Sometimes, you know, it depends on, on what you ate and when you slept. And even if you did all of those things the same time every day, which you shouldn't, you know, your body would still be different on a daily basis. And so, you know, you have to come into the studio with this understanding that you work with whatever it is that you have that day and that you find the ways to work through it. You know, you learn how to compensate for certain things, but it's an ongoing process. And this is something I'm saying this because this is something that I'm working on now in the studio. You know, I realize that sometime along the way, and I don't know when, you know, I've stopped straightening my knees properly, you know, and so all of the muscles associated with that movement, you know, when the legs are moving, when I'm stretching, whatever it is, you know, that's shifted and I've fallen into all these bad habits just because I wasn't, you know, straightening my legs properly and I didn't even notice. You know, I have no idea when that happened, but I didn't, I didn't notice. And I work out a lot, I train a lot, and yet. And so the mental discipline of this constant working with yourself, with the technique, with what you know, with the new knowledge you're acquiring, you know, with, with all of this, like there's, there's a lot there to, to deal with. Um, and, and that's not even talking about how you need to talk, think two moves in advance in any choreography, know what your pinky is doing on this side while your leg is pointed and the other one is turned out. You, all, you need to keep all these things in your mind at the same time, you know, um, and then make sure that you're on the music and the tempo and all that. So um, dance is a very uh, mentally involved practice, especially if you're taking um, and so, you know, coming into your training with this idea of discipline is really important. So that's, that's just, uh, so that's that. Let me know what you think. Um, share your thoughts in the comments. I do read them even if I don't reply. Uh, and uh, as always, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Um, you guys absolutely rock my world. Please do all the YouTube things. If you like what you see, share it with a friend. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.